chase for another exciting episode of yeah, NWA baby, Power. Yeah, it's really exciting. We've got the Universal Heart Drop right here, Austin Idol. And of course, we all know what time it is. It's time. It's time. It's, it's Idol time. time. Welcome to the official Austin Idol, Idol Mania Sports Management Power Hour. Bro. This is going to be fun. This no, is going to no, be no, fun. No, 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 no. It's velvet time, baby. All right, all right. Settle down. You see, we got a Don't lot, start. It's way too early. Action, a lot of action going on in this episode. We're going to have the first ever last man scramble. James Storm is going to take on Judas. And in our main event, Nick Aldis and Tim Storm joining forces to take on Chris Adonis and Tom Latimer. But we got to keep things rolling. Kyle, take it away. Now, Camille, I, I hate to have the first question be this, but we've all seen what's been going on with Tom Latimer and Nick Aldis and, you know, strictly business. What's your take on this? Well, Kyle, my take is that Tom, Nick, they've been homeboys for forever now. They're, they're like brothers, okay? And what happens when you have brothers, sisters, family? You get in arguments and you get over it. And so, you know, they, they've gotten into stuff before and they've gotten over it. It's gonna be the same thing. They're gonna get over it. And really, I'm, I'm just sick of hearing about it, Kyle. Well, I'm sorry to ask about that. Let's ask about something that pertains more to you. Milena. You attacked her for absolutely no reason at that desk. I mean, it was vicious, and I, I just don't get why would you do that. For no reason. I don't do anything for no reason, okay? Melina was running her mouth all about me, about a champion, the NWA Women's Champion, when she's never been an NWA Women's Champion in her life. And you know what? She never will be, and I'll make sure of that because... I, how, how old is Melina exactly? Uh, she, she, uh, I mean, I know she's old enough to call herself a legend, and I think we're using that a little loosely, you know? So, what I'm gonna do for Melina is we're gonna get in there at some point, maybe, you know, and uh, I'm gonna break every single one of your old, brittle bones. That's all, Kyle. Thank you, Camille. I would also now like to bring out the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Trevor Murdoch! <laughs> Champ, always to have your pleasure at the podium. But what I have to ask is this, Jack Stane, everything going on, he looks like he tried to cash in on you. What's your thoughts? Oh, oh. Jack Stane! Do you know what I had to go through to become world champion? Do you know how hard I had to work? Do you know how many obstacles I had to go through? Do you know what kind of match I had to go through in 73 with Nick Aldis just to be world's champion? Yeah. Oh. You come at me after I've had a tag match, after I got hurt, and then you want to challenge me? That's no man. To be absolutely honest with you, I think you're the biggest bitch in the room. You want a world title shot? I ain't scared. I'll fight anybody. But make sure you come to me correct. You hear me, boy? But let me tell you something, man. When you come at me and you want to take the 10 pounds of gold from me, <laughs> brother, I'm going to bring a fight to you you ain't never seen. You may be asking for something that you don't want. I am the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Thank you for your time, Trevor. And the Pope, I was actually gonna call you out right after this, but you already- Yeah, boss, yeah. You know, it's actually very convenient that you were coming out here because you also, because of the Champion Series, have an opportunity to go for any championship you want. And could we possibly see the Pope, Trevor Murdoch, for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship? Textile Cow! Lose all that monotone talk, Daddy, because it's live up in here in St. Louis, Missouri. And trust you me, the world is watching, the world is listening, 
season, and everybody wants to know specifically what Pope's going to do. Well, I can assure my friend, my boy, my brother in the bond, if you will, if Pope's coming, and he knows, but he'll know when. Pope's not going to take no underhanded tactic, daddy. But I'll tell you this, wherever you are, keep your eyes open, keep your ears attuned to every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Pope, specifically next week on NWA Power, then you'll have Pope's answer. Fantastic, let's go back to the desk. Wow, you know, we are talking all about championships and Velvet, I'm gonna have to ask you this, you are a winner in the champion series. Could we see you challenge for the NWA World Women's Championship? Or perhaps you could find a tag team partner. You've had success in the past. You know, I'm going to say what I had said to... Mr. Idol. Whatever he is in the past. Mr. Idol. All I'm going to say about that is never say never. That's all I have to say. What does that mean? You're coming out of retirement? Did we have oh, this conversation on, before? All right, all right. We've got to go to our first again. ever last man scramble ground. match. Kyle, take it away. The following match is one fall with a 15 minute time. I thought we had that and little uh, set to one time ago. Anyway, Lucha Scramble. In this match, one member of each team will be legal at all times. Eliminations occur via pinfall or submission, and eliminations will continue until one team or one man remains. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 420 earth pounds, it is Yuma and Rush Freeman. They are the ill-begotten. At a combined weight of 527 pounds, it is the team of Slice Boogie and All Day, Marche Rocket. And Weighing it at 430 pounds, they are your NWA World Tag Team Champions, Bestia, Say Say Say, Mecha Wolf, La Rebellion. All right, let's start with a brief correction on my part. This is the Lucha Scramble match. It's very, very interesting, and it's something that's kind of come from a lot of matches, getting a lot of inspiration from matches that you would see down in Mexico between luchadors. And it was specifically requested by La Rebellion. They want to always want to be in matches where they have the advantage. It's always a smart move, right, Idol? Absolutely. You have to, you have to stack the deck. I mean, you got to stack the deck in your favor. Absolutely. You know, it's, I, my, old, my old saying, which still works today, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Always cheat. And so that's a way of cheating. Legally. Sums you up in one word. Cheat. Well, I mean, the, the fact of the matter is... I thought is, you said cheap, but you said cheat. No, so. cheat, cheat, cheat. I, I got it, thank dishonest. you. Dishonest. Be doodle with some dishonest. Oh, okay. So there, are there certain... Whoa, there's certain rules in here? Yes, there is. There's certain rules for this particular matchup. Yeah. This is an elimination-style matchup. And the last so man standing in the ring last wins the man, match. Or team, or team. Or we team, could have a yes. team in there. Okay. We have a dominant tag team, and we certainly do in our NWA World's Tag Team Champions and La Rebellion, wow. and that's Bestia 666 wow. Ooh, with a super slice, kick. Sending Slice Boogie to the floor. What a shot there by Captain Yuma. Set phasers to stun. La Rebellion seems to have taken control of this match now at the expense of Captain Yuma. Oh, oh plants him down. Oh, oh, the side, of the, me? side oh. of the face. Clear in house. La Rebellion on well, fire Well, that's why they're tonight. champions, right? That's why they're champions. Look at them. There you go. NWA Lucha Scramble, last standing match. Well, they've got everybody rocking and rolling, rocking and reeling. They're in total control of this match at this point. And Captain Yuma, oh, but he's able to get the boot up on Mecha Wolf. Flying through the air, he gets the head scissors on Bestia. Back to being one on one. Now Yuma, the only man in the ring. Tremendous move, tremendous move. Is he gonna fly? Captain Yuma looking it, to take oh. orbit. Yes! Yeah. Stratosphere. You talk about athleticism, and we're seeing it right here in the National Wrestling Alliance. You got to be good to get here. How'd you get here? Well, I'm great. Now. Mm, yeah. yeah, I'm great. Yeah, okay. I set the bar pretty high. Be nice to me now. 
Hush. Standing Be nice by to you, me. Man. Hush. Oh, oh, did you hear the me. impact wow. of that? How's she getting up I from that? I think that might have knocked Captain Yuma silly. Out of orbit. Oh, and look at this. Oh, this is not good. This is not. Oh, oh wow. That's got to be Goes it. Goes for the cover. Oh. Yeah, you don't get up from that. Yuma has been eliminated. You don't get up from that. Variation of no. the muscle buster changing it no, into a neck man. breaker. No, no. Wow, that was impressive. Yeah, very impressive. But the ill begotten are still in this match. Rex Freeman Brutal. still representing his team solo. That's our first elimination. That Marche rocket, man, that's a lot of meat. That's a lot of beef right there. What's his body weight? 265, 275? What that's is exactly it? That's exactly what it is. 265. He's a monster, man. Nice rocket Whoa. by the big man, Marche Rocket. Very impressive. And now the big man standing tall, standing solo in St. Louis. Yes, he is. Stay on him, man. You got to stay on him. Oh. Bingo. That's what I'm talking about. Dumped to the outside by Mecca Wolf. Here comes Slice Boogie. Stalking from behind. Shot to the face. Taking on both of the World Tag Team Champions. I like this Boogie. He's a fighter, man. Oh, man. And he can take it, too. Sent to the apron. 666. Tried for a hit. Was blocked. Face into the turnbuckle. Nice German, German suplex by Slice Boogie. Belly to the back suplex. Wow, Are you serious? Himself. These are great athletes, man. What a move right there! Is that it? Cover. Boom! I can't stand it! Says, 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 has been eliminated! Using the Brooklyn's edge, he has just pinned one half of the World Tag Team Champions. If this were a regular tag team title match, Slice Boogie and Marche Rocket could be champions. Yes, absolutely. That's belly to belly by Rush Freeman. On every any given day here, anything can happen. Have oh, you noticed that? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah, the competition is unbelievable, man. Everybody's hungry. Everybody wants it. Everybody's going after it. They got something to prove, and we're gonna see some of it right now. Oh wow! wow. Very impressive double team by Mecha Wolf. Just slamming Slice Boogie onto Rush Freeman, and now the dog to the outside into the steel guardrail. Howling like a wolf. Beautiful. Plants him with the spinning DDT. Hooks the leg into the cover. Slice, Slice Boogie has been eliminated. Huh? Slice is out. Is this wrestling? This is certainly wrestling. This is supposed to be what professional wrestling is all about, and it is. You will not find this kind or type of wrestling anywhere else but the NWA. Rush Freeman sits out. Will it be enough? He's got a boot on one shoulder. Oh! Close. Close. Almost. Man, you better stay on him, man. Stay on him. Here comes Marche Rocket back in the action. Whoa! Beautiful. In with the cutter. Will it be enough to eliminate the LB content? It is. Rush they are gone. Has been eliminated. And then there were two. It comes down to two men now. Marche Rocket and Mecha Wolf. Okay, who are you put the money on? What? Rush and Freeman. you owe me a hundred bucks, by the way. Wallet's still it's upstairs. Out. Yeah, I bet it is. You owe me a hundred bucks. Maybe I could win it back here. I put. I. I. I you can't put money I, against I, I, the champion. I, 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 don't give me the. I, the champion. These two men coming who? face to face Michael, now. One half of the world tag team okay. champions. All right. Wow. Oh, the intensity wow. of that chop. Take that. Man. A steady change of blows between yeah, these absolutely. two men now. Neither man. I'm looking for a knockout. Oh, wow, 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 wow. 
kick to the midsection. <laughs> I'm looking for a knockout. Howlin' Wolf. And Marche Rocket hits with the power slam. Goes Not for today. the cover and oh, so close. Two count. Howlin' and growling, baby. Howlin' and growling. Rocket needs to get back to his feet. He needs to keep applying the pressure. Just crawl over there and cover him. You can't Grab waste any leg. time. Every second counts. Yes. Very well said. Very well said. Thank you. Crowd picking up the temp. Go idle, go idle, go idle. No, you're not in this match. You wish. Oh! Missed it. it that Will we see him. it? Mecha Wolf going up top now. Marche Rocket in a little bit of trouble. Will he land it? Well, Taking he's too much time. He's feeling it. Yes, he he's is. feeling the energy. Oh, but he hits it on Marche Rocket. Could this be it? And Mecha Wolf Marche wins Rocket it. has been eliminated, making the winner of this match, Mecha Wolf, La Rebellion. Another big win for the tag team champions. Nailing that 450. It's a thing of beauty. Folks, we got to take a break. We'll be right back. Unreal. The National Wrestling Alliance is coming to the Middle Tennessee and Kentucky area as the NWA and Tried and True Pro present By Any Means Necessary. Sunday, October 24th, see the stars of NWA Power live and in person. The NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Trevor Murdoch. The NWA World's Women's Champion, The Brick House, Camille. Nick Aldis, Tim Storm. The NWA World Women's Tag Team Champions, The Hex. Crimson, Jack Stane, The Pope. Colby Carino, and many more. Be a part of the action, Sunday, October 24th. Tickets available at nwatix.com. That's nwatix.com. I'm actually quite shocked that you're still tagging after everything that's occurred between the two of you. It still seems like after you not being on the same page without the champs, why even stay together? First of all, I don't know. Like I explained last time, where I come from, I believe in brotherhood, and that's why I stand here. But you, you need to go to that place so deep, so low, that killer inside of you. Because if you don't, this is why we are losing it. We lost the tag team titles, not because of me, because of you. You need to own that. You want to know why? Aaron, let me break it down to you, and I'm going to shoot you nothing but the damn truth. You've been all over the world, an international superstar, but you have never fit in. You have never been accepted. You have never even been accepted by your own father. You need to go to a place where that killer is inside you and find that there is peace in this chaos. Control it, bring it out of you. Because let me tell you something, when you do that, we are unstoppable. No one will be able to beat us in that ring. We will go get our tag titles and we will run through this company. This place is a circus and you need to come sit with me at the lion's table. Let's go back to the desk. 
Wow, Woo. Kratos really trying to light a fire inside of his tag team partner. You know, Joe, I think it's more of, it, it's tough love on Kratos' part because he feels Aaron Idols is, is is in his head, I'm sorry, Aaron, Aaron Stevens is in his head too much and he's just waiting for him to unleash and, and, and quick, unleash that fire that he knows he has inside of him. So I think that was more tough love on Kratos' part. Something's wrong there. Something's wrong there. I mean, he's right. Uh, Aaron Stevens is an international star. Yeah, he so, is. Okay, so let's call it like it is. He needs to unleash uh, the fire that he has inside of him that Kratos knows is there. Get out love. of his head. I, I, yeah, I dig the tough love thing, the bullying thing. It wasn't bullying. Take it how you want it. Well, did he degrade him? Did he humiliate him? Well, we're talking about lighting the fire. Let's move on did to a red hot matchup. Him? Let's get to it right that now. That was tough. The following match is one fall with a 15 minute time limit, and there must be a winner. Accompanied by the Sinister Minister, Father James Mitchell, from the Heart of Darkness. He is the Priest of Punishment. This is Judas. Idol, what are your initial thoughts on this man, Judas? I mean, he is so tall, so power, so powerful, so imposing. Yeah, I, I you know, I look at this guy, and you can you can tell that. Uh, you look in his eyes, you can tell there's a vacancy there. You know, there's definitely a vacancy there. You wonder if he's playing with a full deck, you know, and I don't think that he is. And his opponent, weighing in at 237 pounds. I know he's from not. From Leapersport, Tennessee, he is the Cowboy, James Storm! Always a fan favorite here in St. Louis, drinking a nice frosty cold one. And it's a good thing, too, because this match is brought to you by Bush Beer. Head for the mountains with crisp, refreshing, natural Bush and Bush Live. I think, I think you should drink some Bush. A you nice cold glass of Bush Shut Up. Bush Shut Up. What, what, where's this coming from? It's coming from me. Where's the love? Me, there's no love yeah, no, between these two. There's no that's, love between these two yeah, men this, either. This is tough folks. love right here. We're, no, we're coming right up love. against a break. we got to take a quick break. This action will start right when we come back. I accept your apology. You will never hear an apology out of my mouth to you. <laughs> Sinister Minister in his corner. The last time these two met, it went to, a, the whole match was thrown out. They refused to listen to the referee and just kept beating each other inside the ropes, up against the ropes, I should say. Yeah, I don't know a lot about Judas, but if you look at the guy, he's a big guy. Uh, he, obviously, he's tough. He seems to have a tremendous threshold for pain. Have you noticed that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he seems to have a tremendous threshold for pain. I got a good feeling about him, about really have, being able to make his uh, make his presence known here in the NWA. Well, I, just watching Judas in the back, he keeps to himself. He doesn't talk to anybody. No. He only well. associates with Sinister Minister. So there's a certain mystery about Judas where uh, no one really knows. Is he brainwashed? I don't. Oh no! James Storm wow. caught with it's one arm. With one arm. That's a big man to catch with one arm. You better believe it. Then he takes him to the outside. Look, Judas look, 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 look. is living. He wants to tear the place down, man. This guy is a monster. Oh, oh into the guardrail. But look, it's like he's impervious to pain, man. Check it out. Check it out. Ooh. Oh, there he goes, oh, face first into the steel. We got a brawl here, now we got a street fight. There, there's no wrestling here, and I kind of like that. I like a brawl, I like a street fight. Think of how many barroom brawls James Storm has been in over there. So there's a sinister minister. You do oh, not want to mess with the that. cowboy. 
Cowboy is about to whip your uh, Jiraiya, behind. Jiraiya, should I take advantage of this? And he does. Oh, oh I got yes. a hip toss. There you go. Right on to the carpet. No pads here at the chase. And what's below that carpet? Concrete. Concrete. Yeah, this, this carpet's thin. This carpet's thin. Say it again. We didn't hear you. This carpet's time. thin. Okay. Like your skin, your thin skin. Oh, okay. Is that, thin, is, you know your thin skin. You, you have no idea about oh, my skin. Oh, come on. We're not going anywhere. No, you're going to have to stop texting me. Stop calling me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to block you. Yeah, okay. I'm going to block your phone. You're, you're delusional. I'm going to block your phone. You're delusional. Anyways, okay, back to the action in the ring now, because that's why we're here. Yes, exactly. So why'd you change the subject? Judas in the driver's seat. The no. guy looks like a Frankenstein. He does. Yeah, he looks like a Frankenstein. And the I mean, sinister minister, him. like some sort of Dracula. Some yeah. sort of vampire in his corner. Yeah, man. It looks to me like it's Halloween all year long for these two. But this guy is a big, nasty guy. And yes. Oh, and look at that. Yeah. Vicious, just digging his fingers into the face of James Storm. I like it. In the face of the referee now. Oh, he speaks. Yes, he does. I don't I don't think I've heard him say one word. No, no, it's coming out now, isn't it? It's and coming. now look at the oh, fish hook. Fish hook to storm. Oh, yank his gums apart. Oh. He's pulling his gums apart. Storm fighting back now. I think that just pissed the cowboy oh, off, but oh, he gets leveled. Line. Is this? We saw this before, all the way back at NWA 73, when Judas made his debut. Storm Star comes, there's the last call, he last down. call, he took last the, call. He, he took the big man down. He got him. Are you serious? Got him. Are you serious? Are you serious? Storm got the big man down. It just took one big super kick. Let's take a look at this Was replay. This Was replay brought to you by Bush and Bush Light. But look at that super kick right he's on getting the up. money. He's getting up. Oh, the no, let's get back to the action up. now. The back to the action now. Up. That's incredible. Yeah, I told you he was a I monster. I don't think Judas is human. I told you to he was honest. impervious to pain. Storm is like, my work here is done, gentlemen. He got right up. Wow, incredible. Look, look, he's ready to go again. Was it a fluky win? Was it a fluky win? It wasn't a fluky win. It wasn't a fluky Either win. Either way, James Storm, James Storm, he's heading over to the bar to celebrate with some delicious bush beer. Folks, we'll be right back. Nobody likes it when their check engine light comes on, especially when your car is out of warranty. That can mean expensive repair bills. That's why I have CarShield. They get expensive car repairs taken care of, so I don't have to. CarShield's low monthly payments and no long-term contracts make it easy for everyone to be protected and save money when their car breaks down. Listen to your boy Ice-T and let CarShield save you from expensive repairs. You're welcome. CarShield cars go farther. Welcome back, everyone. Joining me at this time are Lady Frost and Kylie Rae. Ladies, how are you feeling about your upcoming match? Me? I get to go first? Please, please, please. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. Thank you, I love you too. I'm just super happy to be here tonight. And I'm just excited. I know in the past I just feel like I have a lot to prove. I know my last match didn't quite go the way we planned, you know, I'm, I'm, but I, I went home, I'm working harder, and I'm coming back stronger, and now I get to prove myself against one of the best, okay, I really admire her, and she's like the coolest woman in the entire room, Lady Frost! How about you? How, how am I feeling? Calm, cool, and collected, mostly cool though, as usual. Is that AK and Marty Bell? Okay. Um, hi. You have something to say, ladies? 
What does it look like, May? Lady Frost, you really think that you could cost me my match with genocide and there weren't going to be repercussions? There are consequences in these streets, baby, and I want to match with you. And you're lucky that I'm a civilized woman and I'm giving you the decency of coming out here to fight you in that ring and not finding you backstage. approve this match, so you want to get these hands, you can have them too. Oh. All right. Are we doing this? Yeah, let's do it! Triple threat! All right, you heard it from one half of our NWA World Women's Tag Team Champions. It's already been approved, and now we're going to have a triple threat match in our women's division, which has been so red hot since our last pay-per-view in power. And now we're getting closer and closer to our next pay-per-view in Atlanta. Hard times two, baby. Hard times two. Everything with the women in the NWA now is scorching hot, man is absolutely scorching hot. Empower was off the charts. Incredible. I mean, these women can wrestle. They don't play games, man. They get after it. Speaking of not playing games, I know Allison Kay is just salivating at the chance to get her hands on Lady Frost, who she mentioned cost her the match against Genocide. Yeah, this whole dynamic with Lady Frost has been really oh, bizarre. Kylie Kylie Ray looking to steal one. Yes, she was. She almost did. Sunset flip. Lady Frost just sitting on the top turnbuckle, enjoying watching the two these two women go at it. Well, that's pretty smart. She's spectating. A a block by AK into the sidewalk slam. That's the wrestling I love. Lady Frost saw her opportunity to come in. A little back jump. That's a smart strategy. Yeah, I, I respect love back that. Jumping. I have to respect that. Yeah, I do respect that. It was a hard landing. Oh, oh. super kick! Did you wow. hear right the temple? Did you hear the impact of that? That sent Alice and Kay to the outside. Big European uppercut. I say this a lot, but I feel like. Kylie Ray's opponents underestimate her a lot because she comes out, she's real cutesy, <laughs> smiling and happy, but when she gets in there, she gets down to business. Got popped in the mouth with that foot from Frost. You think it's a mind game with all the smiling? Set I, don't, up? I don't think it's a mind game by Kylie Ray because she really does not have any ill intentions. It's just how she is by nature. She knows when to turn it up, and she turns it up when she gets in that ring. Standing moonsault into the cover. Allison K breaking it up. Wait a minute. Oh. There it Ooh. is. Oh, dead left German suplex. Send it Frost to the outside. Marty Bell out there as well. Dangerous territory for Frost. Into the stunner. She caught her. That's what she was looking for before. Yeah, exactly. Into the charity case. And the she, charity case. The cross face is in. She's got it she locked in now. She gonna tap? That's in deep. She's got it locked in. She's also covering the mouth. Oh, but look at the power. Look at the strength of Allison K. Incredible! What? Ooh, nice Samoan drop by Allison K. One what? half of our NWA Women's World Tag Team Champions. And Frost sees an opportunity yes, here. Yes, she does. She's going up top. Is it deja vu all over again? Don't waste too much time, Lady Frost. Is it Get deja up there, vu? girl. Get up there. All over again? Super kick to Allison. No, it's not. Back into go. the charity case, back into the crossface, Ray, immediately so tapped, she oh, immediately tapped. Oh. And Kylie Ray can't believe it. Wow. She locked that 
baby in fast, didn't she? She's so impressive. She's a tremendous yeah. athlete, and she's a wonderful person as well, and I'm so happy for just her. Just like me. A wonderful uh, person, a fan favorite? No, oh, just absolutely. the opposite. Aren't they saying idle, idle? I thought they were. All right, folks, we'll be right back. At Emo's, we know every meal's a chance for a little more fun. And you're no stranger to putting pep in your step. So strut your stuff like this. Because it's more than living in the moment. It's, oh, <laughs> savoring the unexpected. And it's more than pizza. It's Emo's. Get moving with a big meal deal. An extra large one topping pizza, garlic cheese bread, and house salad for $22.95. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me right now, who will be in the upcoming semi-final tag team match, Hawks RE and the team of Big Strong Pals, Sauronaro and Mims. <laughs> gentlemen, happy to have you out here. Big match, big opportunity, the tag team title contendership. It can all be yours. NWA is a model wrestling, and tonight we're talking tag team wrestling. We're talking one step closer to those tag team and what a matchup. Sour Naro, excellent wrestler. PJ Hawks, excellent wrestler. Mims, strong as hell. Luke Hawks, strong as hell. Okay, hold up, Kyle Lumber. I'm sure everybody cares about what Lucas and peanut butter and jelly are saying. Actually, they don't. Because all these dudes are, and what is the reason that everybody's here? Why is everybody watching? Hold on a second. It's the performance dancer, the grand poo me, and Sal, it's Vince, it's my little What's he doing out here? What, what are you hey, planning on? That's, that's my man, man leaving. That's my man, Strive out of here. That means he's leaving. Oh, okay. thank you, Tyrus. Thank what you, Tyrus. The... Bye. See, See you later. I never thought I'd hear you say that. You want a real reporter. Get I know. me out here. Kick rocks, ball, and go. Get out of here. We want May. When it's money in the building, all you broke dudes, step aside. Tyrus, I just heard you calling for me. Is there something you want to talk to me about? Yeah, there's something I want to talk about. That's a great question. There's been a lot of complaints about my title defenses. A lot of issues. Let me explain something to you. Let me tell you why we're the best group there is. Because we're all athletes. We all want the same things, and we're not afraid of a little competition. Now, that masked man, that mystery man with those stone blue eyes, I know I know him from somewhere. He had a chance to be part of the program, and he didn't do it. And now he's talking about cashing in his opportunity to, to go against the world television heavyweight champion? He must have had brain damage or something. Hey, I know what you cheer for. Your booze give me self-esteem. Now, let a grown man finish his business. I apologize for their rudeness. I'll leave. You won't be quiet. I'll leave. I thought, I thought this was a red state. Why don't you guys go save a dolphin or something? As I was saying, I don't make the same mistakes as my predecessor made. Oh, wait, it's Missouri. The guy who had the title before me. And I focus on what's in front of me. And what's in front of me, the next challenge for this championship is right here on our own camp. He beat two men. Matter of fact, he beat the masked man. That's right. Countered his own move. And every time he goes out, he gives a hundred and, where we at? 25%. So I am focused on this man. And no matter what happens, it stays in the family. So take that. Go have your herbal teas. Get your vapes. 
watch some CNN, and you can kiss my entire, oh, sorry, not in front of the lady. Take it home. Tyrus, we know, they all know. They all know I'm gonna give 130% because we strive for competition. May the best man win. Well, I Thank you very much, Tyrus. We have to go on a break and we'll be right back. The National Wrestling Alliance is coming to the Middle Tennessee and Kentucky area as the NWA and Tried and True Pro present By Any Means Necessary. Sunday, October 24th, see the stars of NWA Power live and in person. The NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Trevor Murdoch. The NWA World's Women's Champion, The Brickhouse, Camille. Nick Aldis, Tim Storm. The NWA World Women's Tag Team Champions, The Hex. Crimson, Jack Stane, The Pope. Colby Carino, and many more. Be a part of the action, Sunday, October 24th. Tickets available at nwatix.com. That's nwatix.com. It is main event time here at the Chase. This match is brought to you by Bush Beer, our official beer sponsor, the beer with the most refreshing name, the first, it's Bush. Weight of 503 pounds, this is Tim Storm and Nick Aldis. Velvet, did you ever think in your wildest dreams you would see these two no. men? and their opponents at a combined weight of 511 pounds. This is Strictly Business's own Tom Latimer and the NWA national champion, Chris Adonis! This is unprecedented ground. I never, like you said, I, I never would have expected to see all this in, in our own, our colleague Tim Storm team up. But like I said, I just feel like since all this lost the championship, it, it's changed him. Something, it, it just humbled him in a way where he's more down to earth now, it seems. Oh, and look at that show of sportsmanship between Tom Latimer. Yes. Well, there's an enormous amount of respect that you have with when you're each, going up yeah, against when you're your own team, teammate, right. You know, and Strictly Business, so dominant for so many years. This is going to be interesting. Look at these powerhouses. I never thought I'd see I this. Was, yeah, no. There was always that discussion when all this was the champion. Will Latimer ever challenge for it? And here we are. We're actually seeing it. The gold is not on the line because Trevor Murdoch is our champion. But this... What a fantastic main event. Keep in mind, it was Nick Aldis who defeated into the cover, defeated Tim Storm for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship in his first reign. So when you're a tag team and then you have to wrestle one another, I mean, there's disadvantages because you, you kind of know each other's every move. Very true, very true. But here comes the X Factor here. Tim Storm taking on Chris Adonis. Not sure how familiar they are with each other, but I don't think it's going to matter. These two are brawlers to the yeah. core. Adonis with that early advantage, your NWA national champion. Tim and Storm Tim turning it right around, oh, Adonis. Man. Sometimes when he's sitting here next to us and he's wearing the suit, you forget just how much yeah, power yeah. Tim Storm has. And they just lost Tom Latimer. Tom Latimer's 250 pounds. Tim Storm don't back down to nobody. Tough as nails. With some heavy hands as well. Latimer with the reversal. Oh, referee did not see did not that. See. Oh, but Tim Storm. Tim Storm got it. Right. Oh, but a chop oh, block. Takes his the chop block seen that from that vicious side of Tom Latimer. I don't think he has another side. Oh, he is all viciousness. Yeah. He is all intensity. And he wants to send a message. And you can see our NWA Women's World Champion Mill on the outside. Oh man, they are trying to incapacitate Tim Storm. 
looks like Tim Storm is trying to crawl across the ring to yeah, Magnus well to make the tag, he, knowing he's in a little bit of trouble right now. He needs to make a tag to Nick Aldis, who I know you've known for years. So familiar with him. You called him by his old name. But that's oh, okay. Oh, I sure did. But that's, that just shows how familiar you are with him. And <laughs> Again, you, you, the roots else, run deep here right. in the NWA. My mistake. The roots run so deep. They do. And, and he's another one that I've traveled the globe with back in the TNA Impact Wrestling days. I mean, so yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with him in that, in that aspect. And Tom Latimer is getting very familiar with the leg of Tim Storm. Tags made, Chris Adonis coming in. And Strictly Business is running a clinic on a former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. And now, oh, look at the, the added pressure and those strong legs of Adonis. Drops the elbow on the inside of the leg, continuing the pain, the pressure, and also cutting Tim Storm, cutting Tim the Storm. ring in half. Of, can't get Tim Storm, it won't even get him get close to Nick Aldis. Look at the position Adonis has Tim Storm's ankle in. It's not really meant to turn that way. You can just imagine like the, the, the pain he's feeling right now on the tendons and the ligaments. But here we go, Chris Adonis, bionic elbow to the top of the head. Tim Storm still has one good leg, he gets it up. Twice, big kick to the face. But the agony's on the fifth end of the neck breaker. That old school fighting style of Tim Storm. Uh, Tim Storm is just clutching at his knee. He's in a lot of pain right now. He's got to work real he's, hard. He's got one leg to crawl to make the tag to Nick Aldis. And here and he, he is. the tag. Big clothesline to Latimer. Another big clothesline. And all this is rocking and rolling. This press here at the chase shoulders down two count. How do you think? How do you think Camille feels right now, watching from the outside? Two of her, her like team members go, having well, to he, wrestle well, each other. You, first and foremost, oh, I'll bet you know who driver into the cover. Adonis breaks it up. I mean, Camille being romantically involved. Yeah. With Tom Latimer. I mean. She's gonna follow her heart. And her heart is with Tom Latimer. Her heart is with Strictly Business. It still has to be Even hard though for her. she's she's now we have all oh. she's had a you could call a business relationship with Nick Aldis initially being his insurance policy. Yes. But there is love between that woman and Tom Latimer. They are the real power couple here on power. Oh, what is Latimer oh, thinking? My gosh. Oh my gosh, what is Latimer thinking? Trying to roll up. Oh no! Nick Aldis turns it around. Wow. The winners of this match, the team of Tim Storm and Nick Aldis. Incredible victory for the two former world's heavyweight champions in our main event on NWA Power. In a match I don't think anyone has, has ever thought that we would no, see. I never expected to see that. Strictly business defeated. The tin storm is, oh. There's been some damage done to his knee. Too soon here. Looks like Nick Aldis is trying to bury the hatchet. I don't think Tom Latimer is trying to. Okay. But there it is. Very good. That's what I was hoping to see. Whew. 
I never thought we'd oh, see wow. the day. Wow. I never thought Mark, we'd see the day. Mark this day on the calendar. Wait a minute. Oh, oh come, come on. on! Oh, come on, why? Chris Adonis with the low blow. We had a beautiful moment here at the chase. And uh -oh. Oh, oh, my God! Oh, my God! What did we just... Wait a minute, wait a no minute, way. wait a minute here. What just happened? You guys are brothers! You guys are brothers! What are you doing? Wait. Joe, I cannot believe what we just saw, and I cannot believe what... No, with the chair! Come on, come oh on, my God. stop it! Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh my God, you storm! Stop this no, madness! No, don't, 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 don't. Stop this madness, Tom! What would have made this happen? In Strictly Business, why are they turning their backs on Aldis? The business has completely changed. Do they not respect him anymore because he's not the champion? Oh, this is so painful to see. Oh, oh this is enough already, enough! Pile driver, center of the ring. He's doing it again! Oh, come on. He's doing it again! Oh, come Tom Latimer's a madman! This is Tom Latimer's a madman! Oh, oh my gosh! Pile driver. Oh, enough, enough already. All this is clearly unable to defend himself at this point. Enough is enough. Tim oh. Storm trying to get back into this fight. But these wolves, these wolves now feeding at the flesh of Nick Aldis. Oh, no. Not on the uh, chair. No, Not on no, the chair. No, 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 no. Stop. Come on. No, don't do it. Oh, you son of a bitch. How could you do right that? Into the chair. How could you do that? I can't, okay, I can't watch any more of this. This is just, this is just so, so disrespectful to all this. He's, like I said, clearly unable to defend himself at this point. Never in all my oh, years in calling professional wrestling would I ever see something no, like this. This is disgusting. Two I am former disgusted. world champions completely taken out. And strictly business no. standing tall. And the folks here in St. Louis let them know how they feel. You do suck. Oh, you can see Mickey James, the wife of Nick Aldis tending he to him. He could have career-ending injuries. Yeah. He could have career-ending injuries. That pile driver on the steel chair, they've gone too far. Strictly business has gone yeah. too far. Yeah, that was all of that was so unnecessary. Once was unnecessary, but come on. Oh, we've got the EMTs coming out. Oh, we've got the out. medics coming out. Oh, this See, is this serious. is how bad it is, this is right now. This is, this is, Nick is just, He's just laying there lifeless. I don't even know if he's coherent Strictly right now. Strictly business now. Slipping out the back door. As we have our, our EMTs attend to Nick Aldis. Oh my goodness. He could have permanent damage to his neck. You can see how Mickey James, Mickey James is crying out of concern for her husband right now. That's her, her husband. We the father of her child. That, yes. Not only her husband, but yes, like you said, the father of her child. I, 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 I don't like He's, he's oh, giving he's some bizarre convulsions right now. here. Oh, oh my, my God. This is hard to watch. All right, this, is, this is really, this is scaring me right now. They, they got to get him on that stretcher. They got to get him to a hospital. They got to get him to one of the oh, finest hospitals no. that we have here in oh. St. Louis. It doesn't look like he's able to move any part of his body right now, Joe, which is very, very concerning because there's clearly lots of injuries, but we don't know t the extent of I, what is going a on. A maneuver like that, that pile driver on top of the chair, that could paralyze a person. That could end a person's oh. life. That could have, that, that could, we could be looking at the end of Nick Aldis's career right here. Oh my at the gosh. hands of Strictly oh Business. My at the hands of oh, Tom Latimer. He's convulsing. Chris Adonis. Oh, my heart oh goes my out God. to him right now, Nick and Mickey. Folks, this is a heartbreaking oh moment. Oh, my gosh. I can't get emotional. <laughs> they need justice. We'll see you next Tuesday.